Hi beauties, thank you guys so much for watching my channel. Please make sure to subscribe. I'm so excited about the new series that I'm going to be starting. I did a little research on what the trends are looking like they're going to be for this year and I made a whole list of them and so now what I'm going to do is do a series of videos featuring each one of the trends. So I'm so excited. That's going to be so fun. Give me a little fun and direction on the things that I wanted to um, show you guys. Also, I wanted to be able to help you get some ideas on how you can use these trends on yourself. So um, one of the trends, which is the first one that I had on the list, is red lids. And that's not typically a color that I wear often on my lids. So it was fun to go ahead and experiment and play around today. And this will be your first feature, which will be coming on after I finish this intro so you can see how to get the look. Um, so the first, like I said, is red lids. So if you want to do like a cranberry color, this here is like a metallic red. And um, there's different color reds that you can do, but I know uh, for sure this is going to be something fun for you to go ahead and just experiment with because I don't typically see reds often. Um, the next on the list is peachy makeup with, str with strong brows. So it's going to be like peachy tone, light makeup, um, and your brows are going to be like strong brows. So they're going to be really full and bushy. So that's going to be really exciting to go ahead and try. I actually just saw a tutorial from Desi and she was um, doing the bushy brows. So I'm going to go ahead and try and do watch her tutorial and get the brows down for the, to get the bushy look and then we'll definitely have a peachy makeup style coming up on the next feature the third one was a glitter eye I actually have two videos already if you um, want to see some glitter eyes um, if you look in my videos the first two videos I did were glitter eyes for New Year's Eve and um, those are actually on trend so who knew I was on trend and I didn't even know <laughs> but anyway I'm going to do another glitter eye that's not as dramatic as the last two that's a more like day wearable um, glitter eye and those are going to be perfect for um, this 2017 trend um, the next one will be natural makeup no makeup look so that's going to be exciting um, to go ahead and do a makeup no makeup look we won't have like the lashes and all the stuff we'll just accentuate the skin and it'll be more focused on that even though it's a makeup no makeup look it's still tons of makeup let's be real but it looks really good it makes your skin look flawless so that's going to be fun as well also um there's the graphic liner the graphic liner i actually have um one of the glitter eyes i did i did a graphic liner with so that'll be um something that you can look at to see how to um, achieve a graphic liner a graphic liner is not just one look it's just different ways that you do your liner um but when i redo this graphic liner look it's going to be more of a subtle look with with the graphic liner for 2017 it's going to be more of a soft eye and then the graphic liner is going to be um, pretty much the staple of the look so I'm going to redo a look with the graphic liner a different kind of graphic liner than I did already um, just to give more ideas and that's just going to be fun to experiment because I like doing graphic liner um, also they said that the um, the uh, oh my gosh the lipsticks are not going to be as big this year. They said that the um, liquid lipsticks are going to be falling back and gloss is going to be coming back. So gloss is going to be a big thing this year. So we'll just go ahead and do a subtle look um, wearing a gloss or maybe even a dramatic look wearing gloss so you can see how you can still get drama even while wearing a lip gloss. So we'll definitely experiment with that. That will be one of the looks. And finally there was blush. So it's going to be a look where um, it's natural makeup and the blush is going to be um, the staple. And I know a lot of people don't like wearing blush, but I like wearing blush and I'm going to show you how you can get um, a really good look with blush where it doesn't look like it's just too much. It's just all in the way that you apply it, the tone that you choose, all of that. So we'll definitely break all that stuff down when we get into the different features. But for as far as this video, um, it's going to be 2017 trends featuring red lids. So red lids is going to be the first part of this series. If you want to see how to get this look, please continue to watch. Thank you so much for watching.
Bye. Hi, beauties. Um, I just washed my face, so um, my eyes are a little red, but let's go ahead and get started. First, going in with Unique Royalty Renewing Day Cream. I like this cream because it's not oily and it also has SPF 20 in it, which is very important. For brows, I'm using Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in Chocolate, lining the bottom of my brow, then the top, and filling in my brows. And I'll be cleaning up my brows using the LA Girl Pro Conceal Pure Beige. Now going in with Becca Evermatte Poreless Primer and patting that right into my pores to minimize them. This product you have to pat into your skin, otherwise it um, won't work. There's a scab by my left brow making it look like it's not right, but it is. <laughs> then using the Essence Eye Color Base, this is going to make sure that my shadows stay in place and that they um, are more vibrant. And then using Laura Mercier Translucent Powder, I am setting my primer as well as my eye primer to make sure that the oils don't come through. Now going in my Modern Renaissance Palette in the color Burnt Orange, this is going to be my transitional shade, which is going to bring all of the colors together. Now going in with Red Ochre, I'm using that right above my crease and that's going to start bringing the red tone into the look then going in with venetian red and i'm using that in the outer v and just staying in the outer v area to give the look more vibrancy and so i'm just building that up to where i want it to be Now going in with Cypress Umber, I'm blending that right into the outer V and I'm just making sure that I am not going as far as the outer V but I just want to put this right in the corner of the outer V to give the color more depth. Once I blended it out, I noticed that it kind of drowned out the Venetian Red so I went right back in with the Venetian Red and added more to give it more vibrancy. Now going back in with Burnt Orange, I'm just using this color to bring all the colors together and blend out any harsh line. Now I am carving out the crease using the Essence Eye Base and I'm just carving out exactly where I want the pigment to go so that it's more pronounced. Now going in with the Unique Splurge cream shadow in the color defiant which is a beautiful rose gold and I'm just patting that right onto the eye base which is going to help bring out the color more when I put the pigment down now using this loose pigment called heartbroken it's a red uh, metallic color that I'm using and I'm just patting that onto the lid It seemed to bring out more of a pink tone than the red, so at the end I didn't record but I put my lipstick on my lid in the same area and then I put the pigment right on top and it made it more red. So you will see that in the pictures at the very end. But for now I'm just putting the pigment and just layering it until I get it more intensified. Then I'm using the flat brush to kind of carve out the crease and make it more defined. Now I'm going back in with Cypress Umber to deepen the outer V and then back into Burnt Orange to make sure that all the colors are blending together perfectly. Now patting that pigment onto the lid to give it more vibrancy. And I use the color Tempura as my underbrow highlight. Then in using the Inglot 77 liner, I'm going into my waterline and then I'm doing my wing liner and I'm using a flat brush. Then I'm using my superhero mascara for my Ipsy bag. And I'm just carving out the crease more with the pigment and the flat brush. And I'm gonna get a pencil brush and go into the Cypress Umber to cut the crease just a little bit more and make it more defined. Now going into an inner corner highlight using the color Vermeer. And that's in the Modern Renaissance palette as well. 
And I'm adding my lashes I got from AliExpress. They were cheap mink lashes that I thought were really cute and they worked really well. Now using Anastasia Beverly Hills Stick to Flawless Foundation in the color Amber. And I'm just using a Kabuki blush to blend that out. This foundation is beautiful and I felt like I needed a little bit more coverage under my eyes so I just added a little bit more under my eyes after it was all blended out to make sure that I got the coverage I was looking for. Now using Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Concealer and Foundation in the color 5 Medium Beige. I'm just using my finger to blend out the color and then I'm going to get my Real Technique sponge that's wet and I'm going to make sure to blend that out to where I want it to be. I like this sponge because it has one flat side and it comes to a comb so you have uh, two areas that are perfect for getting into every crevice of the face and I really love this Milani I just got it a week ago I'm going to start to try and use the foundation now because I love the way it blends out and now I'm setting everything with the Laura Mercier powder I just set my whole face then I'm going in with the Sacha Buttercup powder because I want it to bake and bring a little bit of color back into my face Now using the Unique Sculpting Trio in dark, I'm using the contour shade, which is a cream, and I'm just applying that in the areas I want to contour. Now using the Tartius Contour Palette from Makeup Shayla, I'm using the lighter contour shade to set all of my contoured areas, and then I'm using the blush in that palette. Then I'm using the BH Cosmetics Setting powder to set my face and then the Anastasia Beverly Hills ultimate glow kit I go into all the gold colors and that's what I use for my highlight and so I'm using an elf fan brush to set my highlight Got to get the Cupid's bow, then going in with the cork liner I got from Snob Life when I ordered some hair. They added it in for free. Then I'm going in with my liquid lipstick from Unique called Sizzling. This is my favorite red. This is all with one swipe. I didn't have to double dip. These lipsticks are really, really good. I love this color. Then I wanted my lips to match my eyes, so I used the heartbroken pigment to make a metallic lip that matched the eye look and these products are natural based and cruelty free so if you wanted to try any of the pigments as a lipstick it's safe and this will complete the look when you look at the pictures you'll be able to see the more pinkish tone that is there right now and then I deepened it with this red sizzling lipstick and put it right on my lid in that same area where you see the pink and I added the heartbroken right back on top and it made it way more pronounced as red so you'll see that but thank you guys so much for watching this is the first video in our series 2017 trends red lids I hope this gives you guys some ideas on how you can rock this trend have a wonderful day thank you guys so much for watching and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss anything have a good day beauties bye bye Mwah.